everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're all having an amazing day unfortunately this video is going to be about 13 year old Tristan Bailey her body was found Sunday evening around 6 p.m. in North Florida in a wooded area near a pond Tristan was a typical 13 year old girl she loved hanging out with her friends she was beautiful and bubbly she loved cheerleading she used to go to Infinity All-Star Gym in Jacksonville for practices. The owner of Infinity, Tracy Harkmeyer, said that Tristan was very dedicated to cheer. She would stay for hours and hours practicing. She was always willing to go that extra mile and was a team player. She was the base for the squad. Everyone loved her. She made friends so easily. Now, since this crime just happened on Mother's Day, it's still a new and active investigation. So there's not a lot of um, stuff being put out there. I do want to point out that the information I'm sharing with you today, my source would be from the St. John's County Sheriff, Robert Hardwick. Tristan was last seen on Sunday, May 9th in the very early hours, roughly after midnight. She was seen at a neighborhood gathering spot near a recreational center in Derby Crossing. Now, I'm not too sure yet who were the last to see Tristan in those early morning hours, but on Sunday at 10 a.m., so in the morning, her parents called 911 and they reported Tristan missing. St. John Sheriff immediately responded to this call and a search was done. And also there were flyers being put out there. The community by far came together as one and was looking for her. You had parents out there. You had students out there looking for her. And unfortunately, at 6 p.m. on Sunday evening, her body was found. Tristan was found fully clothed and she was found near a wooden area near a pond. Um, there was a resident who was out searching his area and surrounding neighborhood, and then he is the one who found her. Now, the sheriff did confirm that the body that was found was, in fact, unfortunately, Tristan Bailey. Now, the disturbing part is there has been an arrest, but it's a 14-year-old boy named Aiden Fucci. He is being accused of murdering Tristan Bailey. A 14 year old boy it just blows my mind Aiden Fucci is being held at the juvenile center in st. John's and he's being charged with second-degree murder now the sheriff Robert Harwick did a news press conference and I'm gonna go ahead and play that for you right now you have arrested a suspect by the name of Aiden Fucci F-U-C-C-I 14 year old um, uh, he's currently in custody with the Department of Juvenile Justice, charged with second-degree murder. Again, that second-degree murder case in charge came up with the corroboration of us, the Office of the State Attorney, and our investigative team. Um, I will tell you this, uh, this is a long process. We're in the very early stages of this. I think it's important that we actually put out that the suspect is in custody as we speak. There are no further threats um, to this particular case. And with that being said, again, this is a time for us to work with Tristan Bailey's family to make sure that um, they are, have all the information way before you have the information. That's how we do business here in the St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Now, one of the reporters did ask the sheriff if it was true that Tristan left Willing with Aiden and another boy that night. And the sheriff said, us as viewers need to be cautious not to believe everything we see on social media. He did also say that they're still looking into everything and putting it together. They're still interviewing all witnesses, talking to family members, so he couldn't confirm that. Another question that was asked in that news conference was if law enforcement was aware of the Snapchat photo floating around and it's Aiden in back of a cop car throwing a peace sign saying, hey guys, has anybody seen Tristan lately? And law enforcement said yes, they were aware of everything going around on social media and he said that you know people have rights before they are actually charged with a crime i guess that's referring to why did he have his phone now as of today tuesday the 11th aiden he appeared in front of the judge for the first time and the judge is michael orfinger he appeared at 8 30 a.m via zoom call they haven't said yet if they're going to charge him as an adult both of his parents were also on the call his mom and dad 
and I really feel horrible for his mother. You can tell that she has been crying a lot. Her eyes are swollen and she was also, she kept wiping her eyes as if she was wiping her tears away. So again, my heart and prayers go out to um, the family. And also he did have his lawyer there who is Andy Snobber. Now that's all the information I can get with this case. I'm sure as the hours go by and the days go by, there's going to be a lot more stuff released. And as soon as it does, I will keep you guys updated. This is a case that I'm going to be following closely. And I do want to say a prayer for Tristan's family. I myself have young teenage girls, so I can't even imagine what they are going through. And it's so sad when you look at Tristan's photos. She was only 13 years old. She had her whole life ahead of her. And sadly, it was taken by a 14-year-old boy. Again, prayers to both families. And you guys, please keep it respectful in the comment section for both sides of the family right now. This is a case that just happened. Both families are going through their own um, nightmare right now. So again, just keep it respectful. And as always, I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, take the time to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, as I was wrapping up this video, breaking news did come in and it looks like St. John's Sheriff has released a statement and it says it has now been determined by Chief Medical Examiner, Dr. Predrag Pulik, sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but that the cause of death is sharp force trauma by stabbing. The manner of death is homicide. Again, my mind is blown away that a 14 year old committed this crime. Um, I will work on more videos and will possibly go live over this since there is a lot of information being put out right now. Again, keep it respectful in the comment section. Thank you guys for your support. Bye.